Yo, what is up guys? And it is pretty much an end of an era now, a 25 year era. E3 has officially been cancelled. Now that is right, E3 has officially been cancelled. There was a press release issued earlier today. There's also been rumblings going on over the last few days with many people speculating, many sort of developers and publishers putting out hints or just straight up letting people know that E3 is cancelled. And it pretty much was all but confirmed for the last couple of days and then E3 themselves put the final nail in the coffin earlier today and released a statement letting us know E3 will be cancelled but all is not lost hopefully E3 will still rise to the top once again next year but only time will tell I think this is actually going to be the beginning of the end of E3 even though it is only planned to be a one year thing but let's talk about it Last few weeks and months there's been a lot of negativity going on surrounding E3. Obviously Sony pulled out last year, weren't attending this year either. And obviously companies like EA haven't been part of E3 for quite a while. And it seemed like a lot of companies were kind of just going off in their own direction, which is pretty bad when it comes to E3. Because obviously E3 is for sure where all the companies come together to show off their latest products. And I think with the adoption of things like YouTube and Twitch by many companies, then these press shows such as E3 aren't as needed as they once were back in the day where all the big companies are coming together and show off what's coming over next year especially what's coming for the holiday season this was obviously where you built all your excitement to try and get people to buy your products as the year went on but now you don't necessarily need to do it obviously Nintendo do their directs on an almost monthly basis Sony and Microsoft both do sort of their version of it as well and many other developers do similar things as well and they can do them whenever they want from their own studio and offices which drastically reduces the cost that it takes to actually put these together as opposed to going to Anaheim and doing E3 which is a very very expensive process for all involved. Now recently key figures for E3 such as Jeff Keighley have pulled out of it and they pretty much seem like E3 might be dead and buried. Now last night Devolver Digital put out a tweet which pretty much just said yeah this is not happening. They said cancel your E3 flights and hotels y'all which as it kind of implies E3 is cancelled. They obviously knew before we did the general public obviously the developers the publishers all the big brands they're obviously going to know that E3 is not going ahead before we do and that pretty much sent the internet wild. Everyone was speculating is E3 really going to be cancelled? What's caused the cancellation? And yes, it has been confirmed today that it has been cancelled. And E3 have put out a statement confirming pretty much what everyone already knew. The statement reads, After careful consultation with our member companies regarding the health and safety of everyone in our industry, our fans, our employees, our exhibitors and our long-time E3 partners, we have made the difficult decision to cancel E3 2020 schedule for June 9th to 11th in Los Angeles. Following increase in overwhelming concerns about the COVID-19 virus, we felt this was the best way to proceed during such an unprecedented global situation. We are very disappointed that we are unable to hold this event for our fans and supporters, but we know it's the right decision based on the information we have today. Our team will be reaching out directly to exhibitors and attendees with information about providing full refunds. We are also exploring options of our members to coordinate an online experience and showcase industry announcements and news in June 2020. Updates will be shared on e3export.com. We thank everyone who shared their views on reimagining E3 this year. We look forward to bringing you E3 2021 as a reimagined event that brings fans, media and the industry together in a showcase that celebrates the global video game industry. So obviously this isn't the first event that has been cancelled because of COVID-19. TwitchCon Amsterdam got cancelled, South by Southwest. Coachella is probably the biggest name that has been cancelled recently and I'm sure that many, many more will be cancelled over the coming days, weeks and months. And now it looks like E3 is the latest victim of that as well. But a lot of people speculate that E3 in general might just be done now. That like I mentioned earlier, companies use their own YouTube and Twitch channels in order to promote their products and do these sort of press conferences like Nintendo Direct and stuff like that. And people aren't really needing E3 as much as they used to. But E3 seem to think that E3 2021 will go ahead. But I think time will tell. I think if they do the online experience and it turns out to be very successful, they saw as many eyeballs on the product as they would have been, then I think having a physical E3 isn't really going to be as needed. And it's pretty much all going to come down to what's going to happen over the next coming months. If E3 doesn't happen in the digital capacity, maybe the companies will still do their own sort of press conferences around the same time as you would have expected from E3. And as I said, if all the eyeballs are still on the product in the same way that they would have been at E3, then what's the point in paying all the money to go to E3 when you can just do it yourself? And I think 
it definitely could be the beginning of the end of E3, which would be sad because it's been gone for 25 years now. It's a staple in the gaming industry, and it's something we all look forward to every year. Literally, when I was a kid in the 90s, I could not wait for the magazines to come out in the month after E3 because I wanted to find out all the news and all the games that would be going to come out, and it's always been a dream of mine to go and attend an E3 event. And it looks like that dream may never have a chance to come true, depending on what goes on over the coming days, weeks, months, and obviously next year as well. But hopefully this isn't the end of E3 because it's something that we all look forward to each year. And like I said, I'd love to go there one year myself. But there we go. What do you guys think? What do you think of E3 being cancelled? Did you see it coming? Do you expect it to be the beginning of the end or do you expect E3 2021 to still go ahead? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you've enjoyed this video today, want to see more stuff like this on the channel, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you're new around here. Also subscribe with those notifications on. My name is Dozer. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.